Sharon. Hi, I am Rich. My name only. <laughs> Anyhow. Hi, so I'm Jamie. <laughs> the star of the show. Welcome yes. to the Jamie Show. I just have to text her. Our daughter's been texting me. I have to text her and tell her we're recording. Oh, buzz off. I know she texted me. <laughs> So I read the talk what she's texting you about? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So anyway, oh, Jamie, you're so adorable. We had a week. Oh, we had a week, didn't we? We did. What was wrong with it? Well, think it's back like to... like every other week. Well, think back to toward last, the end of last week. Jamie had to go to the vet. Oh, right. Yeah, well. Jamie and I both had eye issues this week. It was rough. It's still rough for me, but he, so Saturday morning, I gave him a bath last Friday, and I don't know, so he woke up Saturday morning, and his eye was all closed and crusty, and I was like, oh, darn. So I called the vet. Thankfully, she was there, and the vets now, if you have an animal, you know, you know, you sit in the parking lot, and, and you wait for them to call you, and it was great. I had him in his crate, and she just came out and took his crate with him in it into the vet and he had a little scratch on his cornea but the thing is he rubs his head a lot you know after I brush him and stuff so yeah so all he needed was some drops and he's fine right now <laughs> hopefully that won't happen again <laughs> look at him he's, he's so funny but anyway so he's all set and he looks so pretty <laughs> and he smells so nice because I gave him a bath today yes, I know. and then I got very behind with dying urine this week because last weekend, all of a sudden, I started getting these floaters in my right eye, more so than usual, and I thought, you know, my eye doctor said to me that that could be a sign of a detached retina, so I got really nervous and really scared about it, so Monday I called my eye doctor, and I wasn't able to see my regular doctor because... The doctors aren't even there, but I was able to see a an eye doctor in the office. Yeah, so I drove you there and put you in a crate, and they came out <laughs> and got you and carried you in. <laughs> that would have been fun, if only. <laughs> well, it was the same kind of thing. They call you in, and there was no one in there, thank, thankfully. I didn't touch anything. I, was, I wore my mask, and it just is scary because he's touching your eyes. But anyway... Um, they dilated, you know, my eyes. He said, I have lots of floaters, but my retinas look okay. But let me tell you something. This right, I, I'm having such a hard time. These floaters keep going back and forth and back and forth. and It's driving me nuts. So I have a, another appointment with my regular doctor in three weeks, I think, just to see him. It's fine, but it's it's annoying. I don't think there's anything they can do for it. I guess it's the the back of your... The jelly is detaching. I, I don't freaking know. It's a sign of age. <laughs> okay, let's just move what, along Just here. what you want to be told. A sign. Well, at least I don't have to worry. It's I'm, called old age. Yeah, I was worried because... Get used to it. I, I was worried about my eyes because my eye doctor, you know, cautioned me. I was worried about mine too that time. I don't blame you. I thought mine would be, go so far it would yeah. disappear. Yeah, and his I'd have eye. have a white eye. Your eye... Rich had eye surgery right before all of this happened. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. And your <laughs> eye looks fantastic now. Yeah. It look, was right before. Look at the Remember camera. Remember, we canceled the follow up appointment. Look at the camera. Look how nice and straight his eyes are. Because his one, the left eye was going to the left. No, it's in the <laughs> middle. <laughs> it looks so much better. No, good thing. It's, yeah, right after we canceled yeah. the follow-up appointment because this all we broke. canceled the follow-up yeah. appointment. The doctor so, said it was fine. He had already seen him once for the for a follow-up and it was fine. But it's been a little. It's been a little. Oh, you know what I did today? What, uh, what did I did do? yesterday? What? I went into a supermarket. <gasps> the first time in two months. That I've Rich, been in a supermarket. Rich needed some health and beauty products that I have no idea. Where. It would take me an hour to find you know, them. I like deodorant. You know, yes. many, and then of course they this... changed the packaging. So I'm looking Is for the, the wrong same one? packaging. Is it the same one? Yeah, but they didn't have one sent it, so I have this North Woods. It was okay. the only so one of the uses... stinky smells I figured I could tolerate. Was he uses North Tom's, Woods. Tom's deodorant. But anyway, so... Rich wore a mask and went in and, and went to the... Yeah, I did my thing. It wasn't too, yeah, it wasn't too, too crap. Bad. And on the way, I check out. 
and a woman again to memory, you know, gives you the receipt. Oh, yeah. And she says, oh, have a nice day. And I stepped at her and I said, well, you have a nice day too. And I said, stay safe and thank you for working through all this. I thought they were going to cry. I mean, don't, all people, the don't people thank people, <laughs> I mean, for what they're doing there every day, oh. having to face these germs, to thank them. If you go shopping, thank them. If you're working Jeez. in any essential business, thank you. You deserve the thanks. Whether yeah. you're a nurse or a, or a grocery worker. Sorry, I had to just shut my watch. Thank you so much. Cause I, and there were other cashiers standing right there, and a manager who will, well, ah, and oh, and oh, oh, oh. I like it. Like, See, God, nobody. Well, anyway, I'm going to thank you all because we say it yes. daily. If it weren't for people working in the, I mean, obviously the healthcare industry, but especially the food industry, oh my gosh, it would be yeah. awful. We, Supermarkets closed, guess what? Oh, it would be really rough. And Bad like, enough with the meat plants all closing now. I know. I'm giving, Um, we've been getting a lot of our groceries delivered and I just double the tip. I give them a huge, I give them a huge tip because they deserve it. They're carrying my water bottles, you know. I mean, so it's fine. I can do that. So, anyway. But yeah, supermarket. It was I hope you cool. are all okay. I say that every week. I think of you all. Seems like you all are great in the comments. I'm getting some really um, great comments. You are all doing fine. Um, I continue to do my nails and my hair. And <laughs> we're all fine. We're all doing well. So I cut my hair too this week. Oh, I you think, did? Didn't I? Well, didn't I? Well, I just cut the wings. Oh, okay. so Sticking out yeah. on the sides. Uh, yeah, it looks good. The back is really long. I could do your back for you if you no, want. No, that's right. I want to grow a mullet. <laughs> you will be <laughs> growing a mullet. And sing hickey. <laughs> what does what does he sing? Billy Ray Cyrus, hokey pokey, hickey hokey. I don't know, I but know. you you could be you could be a Tiger King. He's got a ah, nice big yeah. mullet. <laughs> Rich Exotic. <laughs> yes! Rich Exotic! With my trained sure. Yorkie. <laughs> Actually, he listens to you a lot better than he listens to me. Aww. Yes. We've been taking Jamie for walks every day, and he loves going for his well, walk. In a few days, he decided to poop in his crate at night. Ugh. Had to wash it. His I think, little bedding three times in a row. I was telling Rich, I think there's certain foods that disagree with him. It seems like whenever I give him steak, it seems to go through him. So I'm not giving him steak anymore. I'm just sticking no, to no. poultry. It's and funny. No it's, German bologna. Either. No. No bologna. <laughs> no. Our other dog couldn't eat poultry. Yeah. This dog can't eat steak, so whatever. Anyway, so let's get on with the show. This is a knitting podcast. <laughs> It doesn't always yeah. seem that way, but it's mainly okay. So show us what you tries been doing. to be about knitting. I have a finished object. Look. Oh, when did you finish that? When did you start it? I know. I started this at the end of the summer, last summer, and I put it away for a while. Oh. This is a top-down boxy sweater by Hoagie. Yes, it's by Hohi Locatelli. So there are some issues with it that I'm that I need to fix after blocking. This is my hand dyed yarn in my sexy singles base, which is so soft and luxurious. I will carry this if I like how this wears. I'm going to wear this and make sure that it wears okay. It's not going to pill too much and. Then I will start carrying this base again. Uh, the colorway is just a one-of-a-kind gray beige colorway that I did with some blue, purple, and warm brown speckles. I like the way you have to down the sleeve, it changes that. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Okay, so sleeves are one issue. As you can see, I didn't weave in the end. So these sleeves are supposed to stop here. Nice. Ooh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to be like three-quarter length. And they were, were before I blocked it, but then this thing grew 10 inches, which I knew it would because before I blocked it, it was not the size it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 55 inches. Before I blocked it, it was 50 inches and it came out to be like 68 inches at the end uh, blocking it. So it grew quite a bit, which I knew. But these sleeves grew lengthwise, so they're now bracelet length, which I don't mind. I don't hate it, 
The only thing is, this sleeve is a little bigger than this sleeve. Probably because I picked up more stitches, who knows. Um, and I think I might want them a little tighter, so I might rip them back and redo the sleeves. I might, I don't know, they're not bad. Um, and then the bottom of it, this is a top-down boxy. It's called Boxy and Buttony. I did not put any of the details. I didn't put any button bands in. I didn't do anything. It's just a plain stockinette sweater. But the bottom seems to be pulling a little bit. And I think it's because I used a really tiny needle to do the ribbing. I think I did it on a one or a zero. And I think it, the needle was too tight and it pulled in the bottom which I don't like, so I'm going to redo the ribbing. That won't take me long. Mm. But I love this. Isn't this nice? Yes. What do you think? I love nice. the neckline. The neckline's perfect. Yeah, a nice big neckline. Looks very nice. Thank you. And it's it's just lovely. It's so, feel how soft it is. I can't. I got something soft <laughs> in my hands. Here, you can feel. That's all. The, le the sleeves don't match. I like the way they're different, though. I don't mind it. I don't kind of hate interesting. it. Yeah, it is interesting. It, um, it's the same colorway, but this skein that I finished the sleeve with got a little more speckling than the other one, which is yeah. totally fine. I have some of this yarn left, which I might do a giveaway at some point. Um, speckling. If you guys want. It's like 75 grams of this color left. You could put it in a shawl or you could, you could make a cowl or a hat out of it. It would make a really nice... Um, uh, slouchy hat. I forget the name of that hat that you make out of fingering yarn, but anyway, so oh. I'm happy with this. I, oh. I love the fit except for just the, and the ribbing's my fault because I use a smaller needle and the sleeves easily fixable. It won't take me long at all. And I love this project because I just want nice, warm, cozy sweaters right now. Yes, well, it's not warm outside, so of course. It's so cold. It's what, 40... 48 today. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so I also had an issue with my left hand. It's not bothering me right now, but the other night... was your black glove. I know. I was knitting your on... Your fit. I was knitting on this, and I had it on a real... I was talking about how I had it on a 24-inch needle. Well, my hands were cramping up when I was knitting on this, and my hand hurt so bad the next day I couldn't knit at all. So I ordered a pair of copper cl gloves that are supposed to help arthritis. Copper fit. Copper fit. Copper you know, fit. the thing that Brett Favre runs around with all over his body, his knees, his elbows, Actually, his hands. Actually, I have feet. to say, I don't know if the cop I don't know if the copper is doing it, but the um, compression of the glove compression, yeah. really helped. So I was able, and then when I wear it, when I knit, I keep my fingers straight, so they're not like all cramped. That's why I can't knit socks because. If I do this, it hurts. So, um, so yeah. So I was able, I was able to do a little bit more on this. Not much though, because yeah, I close my fist. This is as far as I can close my yeah, fist. Yeah, I know. Understand. Arthritis. Yeah, arthritis. Old age. <laughs> okay. So I love this. Um, I am doing now some short rows and raglan shaping. This is the East Bray sweater by Skandier. Mm -hmm. And you're so cute. And it is um, Rama Phenol Garn in a gray and light pink color. I got this idea of this color combination from Kristen Vollenvine Yarns. Was knitting one with these colors, and I love it. So it's just slow going because of this hand. And then. When I'm in the car and I just want mindless knitting, I've been working well, on... We're not in a car too much anymore, are we? We're not. We're but when going. you were in the store the other day, I worked on this. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to have more than one person in a family go in a store. I'm following the rules. So I waited while Rich went in the store. Is that why there was so few people? I saw a man in there. You're not Good supposed to. Good thing he wasn't there because he was blocking me from getting what I needed and his wife told him to move. <laughs> she but told you, me impatiently ready to but choke you are, him. But you were, uh, the rules are that if well, you Well, I didn't know some of these rules. So when oh, I, I went know. to check out my wagon, I 
poor. Oh, it's old. There's nobody online. I go right in and go, excuse me, sir. I was next online. And, and there's all these red lines. Yeah. I didn't know. It's been like. It's the six man. feet apart. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. When I went to our store the other day, the aisles are one way. And I didn't know. <laughs> Somebody told me. And I was like, okay, now I know. Yeah, but anyway, think... you're only supposed to have one person in your family go oh. food shopping at once. So I just waited for Rich in the car. It was fine. Weird. And I, I went, did... went in the paper aisle, and it was from beginning to the end. There was not one piece of <laughs> paper on the shelf. No napkins, towels, toilet paper, dish, nothing, nada. It's been an adventure <sighs> trying to find things. I was able to score some toilet paper through Amazon Pantry, and it's just hit or miss. If you find it. Great. If you don't, yeah, it's really it's been tough. It's going to be delivered in December, so we'll yeah, probably run out by then. May. May. So May. this is this is my um, habitation throw That's by Helen nice. Stewart. Thank you. I have this link down below. I know it's free for the month of April. You have to use a code that Helen gives you. I forget what it's called, but anyway, the code will be linked. I'll put it down below. Um, yeah. So I. I bought this back in the fall. It was one of her advent um, patterns. So I already had this pattern, but I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm making it out of plucky knitter and I'm color blocking it between the white and other like scraps and leftovers that I have. So I am enjoying that and it's not so hard on my hands. It's really soft yarn and I really like it. And that's all I've been working on. Okay, so what do we do? We got a giveaway? I have a giveaway. So last week I had these beautiful forest green two skeins of alpaca. Mm. It's very nice. Very and some nice. notions. And the winner is Lisa Gilmore from Tennessee. And she said she needs a haircut and she does her own nails. Because I asked you what you guys were doing for self-care. And... Um, yeah, congratulations, Lisa. She said many of her family are essential workers. Kudos to all of you. And Lisa, you can contact me. Send me an email, Sharon at knitstellyarns.com. Put winner in the subject line, and I will get this out to you when I go to the post office. I'm pretty much going to the post office once a week when it's closed <laughs> <laughs> because I can just drop it in the post box. There's a big box there where I drop the packages. Want to get down? You know, yeah, let him down. Okay. He's, he's kind of done. You come back when we're ready to sign off. Yeah. So this week's giveaway, and my giveaways all come from Knit Crate. They send me yarn. I give all of it away. Um, if you would like a Knit Crate subscription, you can click on the link down below in the, in the box. And um, you'll get 20% off your first order, and I get a little bit of a commission, which helps pay for oh. prizes. What did you drop? I think tea. Ooh, this is a sparkly oh, no, one. Sparkly one. It's yeah. always soft. It's always soft. So the colorway is diamond. This is a um, sport weight, 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 10% stellina. I'm going to get this. Try this is gorgeous. Mind. This is my... This is my jam right here. What is this? These neutral colors. Love them. And there's a no it's tea maybe? No, it's not tea. It's oh, it's soak. soak. It comes with soak is a wool wash. Oh. It's wool a wool wash. It's a wool wash. A wool wash. So it comes with um, a package of soak and this gorgeous yarn. If no one claims this, I'm keeping it because I really like it. Huh. And a little note. Uh, Tells you what to do is a soak, I yeah. guess, or whatever. I think there's a coupon code. Oh, there's a coupon code for 15% off soak in this little card. So, yeah. So, put, make a comment down below. You can comment about anything you want this week. I don't really have a prompt for you. If I think of one, I'll let you know. So, all right. Let's show some yarn. Oh, we haven't done that yet. So I, I did a little dyeing. Um, usually I dye on weekends, but this week I kind of was a little bit, a little bit late with it, but I managed to get my update up on time. So Wait. the update is live because we're recording this a couple days late. 
All of these skeins are in my shop right now, available for purchase. And if you want to know about updates, you can sign up for my newsletter. I think I have a link down below to sign up for my newsletter once a week. And it's usually only once a week, probably less. I usually send out newsletters like twice a month, so I don't spam you. I want, to sh I want to show you these, so thank you for putting that back. I appreciate it. So I have another mini skein set this oh, don't week. I hate this. What? I'm yeah. not going to make you That's guess the them. Game. No, I'm not going to make you guess because you won't you won't know them. Oh, I wouldn't. Know that. Although this one you might you'll you'll have memories of the. Fr okay, so I did mini skeins for more Disney villains, and these are all the men, all the male Disney villains. Not all of them, but some of the male Disney villains. Mad, male. Males. Male Disney male villains. Male Disney villains. Say that five times back. And the first one I'm going to show you. Oh, I know who that one is. You do? Who? Jafar. Yes! Oh my God, you got <laughs> it. This is Jafar from Aladdin. And I'll hold it back here in case it didn't focus. But I love this one. Remember, Jafar? I am Jafar. When we... <laughs> yes, Emily. When we... Hated remember, him. When we took Emily, him. We took Emily to Disney when she was three. Took it and, to Epcot, right? No, we were in, we were in um, Hollywood Studios. And we were having breakfast with the characters. Oh, but she met him in, in Epcot. Too. No, she, did she? Yeah, he was over in Epcot once. Too. She was terrified of Jafar. <laughs> And she was terrified because they had, it was like an Aladdin breakfast, and they had the, you know, the... Um, I guess when you go up the set of stairs, there's... And they had the... A lantern right the at the end. Oh, the, lan the lamp. Recessed in the wall. Mm -hmm. And so people were going up there, and Emily's no, like... that kid. Oh. Some kid went up there, and he's rubbing it, and Emily got terrified. She was like, don't touch it! <laughs> because in the movie, you know, everything, you know, the lava comes and all that. So anyway, she was terrified of Jafar. Was she so met funny. him over at Epcot. Remember, he was walking around, and she gave him that look. Yeah, she, she, this look. <laughs> she was so. Funny. He wanted to come over, and she, she was terrified. She did not like Jafar. <laughs> we Still tried. Is. We tried watching the live action Aladdin the other night. Boy, that stunk. We were five within, minutes within three. In, yeah, no, I didn't think it was like three. Maybe minutes. three minutes. The singing was terrible. We didn't like it. It, it was just. We turned it off. Stupid. Oh. Apparently the Will Smith part was pretty good, but we didn't like it, so we No, I couldn't. I don't think I could have waited till What did we watch on. instead? Oh, we watched... Imagineering. No, 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 no. That night we watched... Oh, it was really um, good. Onward. We loved it. Onward, Pixar. It was pretty funny. <laughs> fantastic. Highly recommend. They took it out of theaters, obviously, and put it on Disney+. Plus. Highly, highly recommend. Pretty Such a great <laughs> story, and I only wish I could have watched it with our daughter. She, she would have loved it. I'm going to get our son to watch it, so maybe she, we could watch it with her. She could watch it online, and we could talk on the phone or something. I don't know. Okay, so the next color I, kn I know you won't get, because I don't think you saw the movie. You didn't see the movie. In fact, I know you didn't see it because I saw it. Oh, one. well, then I won't get it. This is Dr. Facilier oh, from The Princess and the Frog. Oh, I wouldn't know that. No, he didn't see The Princess and the Frog. Love that movie. It's awesome. We should watch it. I have no interest it's on in Disney+. Plus. I have no interest in that other movie with the, the wine girl or whatever she is. Oh, um, that's a good one. That's another good one. Um, I can't think of it now. Anyway. Okay, so this is Dr. Facilier. I will put pictures up. I want up. to see Mulan, the live yes. action. That looks phenomenal. This one you won't know either, because I think we saw it maybe in the theaters back in the day, like many, many, tw 20 years ago. You won't know this one. Hades from... Um, oh, from, from, from Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> Actually, you knew it more than me. I didn't even know what... Where Hades was from, because <laughs> I don't, I didn't remember the movie at all. But this, it looks pretty good. He's got blue hair, and he's kind of purpley mm. with gray, so he's pretty cool. And then this one, Is that you won't know. 
This is Captain Hook. Uh, yeah, Captain like Hook it. actually has maroon in his costume. He's maroon, like an orangey red, and a little bit of gold for his hook, and a little bit of white. Yeah, that's Captain Hook. And then the last one you might get, because this is a family favorite movie with animals, lots of animals. The rat. No, no, no. Um, remember when Emily was three again? Oh, Lion King. Well, actually, she was younger. She was, yep. Who's the evil villain in The Lion King? Do you remember? Who that lion? I don't remember. Scar. Scar. This is Scar. I thought it was, what's his name? When Emily was Beauty and the Beast. 18 months old, Lion King came out. I'll never forget it. The commercials would come on TV and her head would swivel around. <laughs> And she, she would say, Lion King? Go see Lion King? So we took her to the movie, and she sat in my lap the whole time and just never moved. She was no. so good in the movies. Our son, on the other hand. Oh, we took him to see Hercules. It was his no. first movie. No, it you wasn't. Saw, yes, you saw half of it, and I saw no, half no, of no, it. No, 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 it wasn't Hercules. It was Hercules. It was not. It was the hunchback back of Notre Dame. Oh, hunchback. I Thank knew it was you. something. I remember. It was, yeah, Hunchback, that's right. And I love that movie. That's what I meant to say. Hunchback. I love Hunchback. The music is well, fabulous. We got to see half of it that day. <laughs> if I had to spend half the time out in the hall with them, and you had to spend the other the, half. We should watch that one, too, on Disney+. Plus. They're all on Disney+. Plus. I love Disney+, Plus actually. So, all right. Okay, so that's so. that. So these are all my Disney villains, males, minis. Love them. Actually, they're selling pretty quickly. I only have maybe half of them left, so if you want them, go right to the website. Okay, so um, I just did three other colors this week. I've been trying to nail this color for a while, and I finally got it. It's very hard to dye because it's a very delicate speckle, and if you overdo it, it looks terrible. So I finally managed to not overdo it. And this is Pixie Dust, and it has lots of beautiful, no, delicate... I think I had a purple hat band would match perfect, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, it would match. It does match your hat. It's just, I love silvery grays, and this is... It's purple and gray, isn't it? So then I decided to do Snow White, a couple of Snow White colors. Oh, I didn't that looks do... like Snow White. Thank you. I didn't do as many as I wanted to because... Well, yeah, really I started Snow Whitey. Like, this is Snow White. This is the character. Yes, Snow White. Very bright. She's got yellow, red, and blue, yes. and white. Love her, and a little black. Love, I love how these came out. I'm really happy with these. So that's Snow White, and this is my favorite. So there's a ride at the Magic Kingdom that we didn't get to go on. But it's based on Snow White. It's called Mine Train. And this is Mine Train. Does anybody want to knit socks for me out of this color? Why would you want Mine Train socks? Because I love this color. And I could use some more pairs of socks. So if you want to knit a sample for me, just send me an email. Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com And um, if you're a fast sock knitter, I'd like it within the next month or so. That'd be great. Thank you. And I will get one of these out to you to knit for me. So, Mine Train. Based on the... You didn't get to see Mine Train because no. the line was ridiculous and we didn't it have didn't a fast pass. It look that great anyway. You know what? It's but a roller like the coaster. Peter Pan ride. That thing was kind of like... I love cool the way. Peter Pan ride. It's still there, but there's a really long wait for it. Oh, yeah. It was a 90-minute wait to get on Small it's, World. I know, which is insane. A 90 minute wait to get on Small World. I've never waited more than five minutes to Why get on Why was it so crowded when we were there? It won't be anymore. Did people know something was coming? I just, maybe. Huh. It was crowded when we were there in January. It was nuts. Okay, so that's the update for this week. I still have colors available. Um, the mini skeins, um, like I said, are selling pretty well. So, yeah. I'll, probably, I'll do more, maybe more Snow White colors this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to go through the movies. I'll, maybe I'll just start with the 
Snow White was his first feature length. I don't know what came after that. I'll have to look that up. Who? Disney movie. What movie came after Snow White? What was his second feature? I could look it oh, up. Oh, one of those. I think it's probably one of the, those. You know, the, the Sorcerer's Apprentice or oh yeah yeah yeah. Or Bambi. Sword no, I think it was the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Might have been Bambi. I love Bambi. Um, I have a colorway, a Bambi colorway already, but, um, oh, here we go. Snow White, December 21st, 1937, before you were born. Ten years before you were so. born. Uh, number two, can, it was neither of those ones. Oh. And it's not one that I really like very much. February 7th, 1940, Pinocchio. Not a big fan of Pinocchio. Anyway. <laughs> Number three. November 13th, 1940. Fantasia. Fantasia, that's the one. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was Sorcerer's. So I'm... Number four. October 23rd, 1941. Dumbo. Which, I liked Dumbo. It's the better. cartoon was good. Yeah. I didn't see the live action. So, yeah. So that's, anyway. So I'll go through them. I don't know if I'll do any Pinocchio colorways. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> so, all right. I'm gonna end. We're gonna end it right here. Good. Oh. Right. Right <laughs> so we hope that you all have a great week. Knit something beautiful. And cheers. Cheers. And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make a move Chop chop, we're rolling. <sighs> He's all clean this week. Oh, you're all fresh from a bath. Oh, mommy had a very productive morning. Yes. Mommy went running and gave you a bath. Okay, ready to start? Mm-hmm, a oh. drink after this is all over with. Oh yeah, you've invited everybody yes. over? Good, I, I could definitely use and some socializing. And they're bringing socializing. the dogs too. They're bring oh, <laughs> well, that'll be really interesting. Are they all gonna fly in? Hmm? Are they gonna fly in? Yes. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna have. Coming. We're gonna have a big. Ooh, oh wow! That's blue bell. I gotta get. Wow. Bring blue bell. Oh, that's, that's far. Everybody's coming. They're coming from a far way. <laughs> and we're gonna feed them rogi. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's now definitely. Goodbye. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands.